promise someone that I love very much that I would never go back to being that person. But for you, I'm going to make an exception. I promise someone that I love very much that I would never go back to being that person. But for you, I'm going to make an exception. Greetings, everyone. Let me explain how Face Real works. Creating a project is the first step. Select your folder. It will create three new folders if they do not exist. Sound, Animation, and Image Sequence folder. Now you can load your video. Note, before you load the video, it's important to make sure the frame rate of the video is supported in the Unreal Engine, that to avoid any problems with the audio synchronization after importing the final animation. Now you can load your video. Now the face reel is collecting the raw animation data from the main actor in each frame. So, now we go through in the interface to explain all the functions. Face reel controllers. You can switch between controllers by left clicking. Middle click to add more controllers to your selection. And if more in one controller is selected, you can continue adding more selections by left clicking. Right click to deselect the controllers from the current selection. Double click to select only one controller again and switch between them by left clicking. Also, you can quickly select multi controllers by pressing the small buttons. or selecting the mouth, or selecting all. Right-click to deselect the group from the current selection. Double-click to select only one group. Left-click and hold on to the center of the small button to move the controllers together. When the mirror button is active, the opposite side will be selected automatically. and you can move them in opposite directions. To drive the expressions in the MetaHuman from the controllers, you must activate the key clip button or activate the keyframe button. Note, always displays the information of only the last controller you press on it. The information is, the name, the expression value, the noise value, the smooth value, the zero fix value, raw animation curves, and the final animation curve. All this information is for the last controller selected shown his name here. If none, these main no controllers are selected. So noise or smooth or any other functions do not affect anything because no controllers are selected. You can select multiple controllers and set the same expression value or noise or smooth or zero fix value for all the selected controllers at the same time, or select only one controller to set a specific value for it. You can temporarily activate or inactive the send data to Unreal Engine by pressing of all button or the on all button, and if only for selected controllers by pressing of select button or on select button. Now let's talk about the timeline. Press and hold left click anywhere on the curve editor area and move the mouse to the left or right to seek the video. There is always a blue line in the middle showing the current frame. You can move frame by frame using these buttons or enter the specific frame here. Press play. The video will start from the start frame and end at the end frame of time range sliders. One that I love. One that I love. You can set the start frame and end frame from here too. All the functions will not affect the animation outside the time range area. The animation can only be edited within the time range area from start to end frame. But if you create a clip and the current frame touches the red line on any frame, it will be the active clip, and the animation can only be edited within the start frame and end frame of the clip. If any part of the clip is outside of the time range area, so you cannot edit the animation on it. Just the part of the clip is inside the time range area, 
and the current frame touches it, you can edit the animation on it. If the current frame touches the clip, it will be the active clip. But if the current frame didn't touches any clip, so the animation editing will affect all frames in the time range area from the start frame to the end frame. To create the clip, go to any frame you want and press set clip, and then go to another frame and press set clip again. It will create a new clip between those frames. You can create multiple clips in the same time range area and switch between them. Delete only the active clip by pressing del clip or delete all the clips on the time range area. Note, doesn't matter if you delete the clip or you keep it. You will not remove or change the animation you did if you remove the clip. The clips are just marked as a time range to apply the functions on specific frames. Key clip button. Activate it if you want to adjust the selected controllers in all frames on the active clip or on the time range area if you did not touch any clip by the current frame. The key clip allows the increasing or decrease of the values of selected controllers in each frame by adding the new position value to the original value to keep the animation curve in the same shape. But if you put value directly on the value box, it will apply the same value for the selected controllers on all frames in the active clip. The final animation curve will be flat. If you press the Reset Select button, we'll remove any editing animation we did on the selected controllers. The green curve will be the same as the raw data. Key Frame button. It will change the value of the selected controllers in only the current frame. The D button and L button only work if the key frame is active. If the D button is active too, press and hold the left mouse button on the current frame. Move the mouse up or down to change the expression's value of the selected controllers direct on the final animation curve. Keep holding the left mouse button and move the mouse to the left or the right to seek the video in same time, move the mouse up or down to adjust the expression's value with keeping hold the left mouse button. Press the do button again to deactivate it. Now you can seek the video again without changing the selected controller's value. The old button works only if the keyframe is active either. For example, I want this pose to go smoothly to this pose. I will go to any pose from them. First, press the old button. You will see the blue mark on the current frame and go to the second frame before you press the old button again to apply the function. Make sure you select the controllers that need to apply the linear transition on it. Maybe I want to select the mouth controllers and I will add the jaw to them. To apply the linear function between these two frames, Press the L button again. Now the transition between these poses is linear in all the selected controllers. Copy and Past. We have three different types of copy functions available. Copy clip, copy pose, copy if pose. First, we talk about copy clip function. For example, we want to copy some controllers from this frame 120 to frame 130. So go to your first frame 120 or 130, doesn't matter who first. Press the set key. Go to the other frame is frame 120. Press the set key again to create a clip and make sure the current frame touches the clip you want to copy from it. Because if your current frame is in an empty area, you will copy all the time range from the start frame to the end frame of the selected controllers. So, let the current frame touches the clip you want, and then select the controllers you want to copy it, and press the copy clip button. Now we get the copy animation of these blue controls, from the first frame to the end frame of this clip. Before you paste it, we have to define the frames and the controllers you paste on it. We will define the frames first. If the current frame did not touches any clip and you press paste, the animation will paste it into the first frame of the time range and will be repeated until the end frame of the time range. Or you can paste it on the same clip if the current frame touches it. 
or you can create a new clip to paste on it. I will create a new clip, for example from this frame until this frame, and keep the current frame touching this clip, to be the active clip. Now we have to define the controllers. Do you want to paste it into the same controllers you copied it from? So press paste same button. Or do you want to paste it into the opposite controllers? So press the paste mirror button. Or do you want to paste it into the different controllers? So select first the new controllers and press the paste select button. Note, the first controller you selected before you press copy, it will paste it into the first controller you selected for the paste and the second controller will paste it into the second controller and the third controller will paste it into the third controller and the fourth controller will be ignored. The second copy functions, it's a copy frame button. It's the same technique as a copy clip, but this is for copying only the current frame of the selected controllers. For example, I want a copy of the pose of these controllers in this frame and paste it into this frame. If you want to paste it on the same controllers, so press on the paste same button. Or if you want to paste it on the different controllers, you have to select the new controllers first and press the paste select button. Or press the paste mirror button to paste it on the opposite side. The last type of copy function is copy F pose. F means flat pose. The idea behind the copy pose function is copy only one pose in one frame like a copy frame function and paste this pose on all the frames on the clip or on all time range frames like the copy clip function. For example, I will copy the pose of all the mouth controllers and the head controllers from the current frame and go to any clip or create a new one. Same thing. You can use the paste mirror option or paste same or paste select if we select other controllers. I will paste it on the same controllers we copy it from. Now the pose is repeated in all the frames on the clip of the controllers, mouth, and head controllers. Now we talk about the sliders, noise and smooth sliders, to apply the noise or smooth function. First, select the controllers you want to apply the noise or smooth function on it. You can select all the controllers if you want, and increase the smooth value. Watch the green curve for this controller, or any controller if I press one click on it. Still the smooth function effect on all the selected controllers as the same value is just the displaying for only one controller. Whatever, we see the green curve now is smoother. On all the frames from the start frame to the end frame of the time range area, you can change it and give this area a different smooth value. And we can create a clip and set it to another different value too. I can go to different clips, select other controllers, and set a different value. The noise is the same technique. You can set a different value for the time range area or any other clips for all controllers or different controllers. The noise and smooth function is designed to remove the jitter from the animation to make a smooth transition between the frames. If you increase the value too much, you will lose the animation details. So what is the difference between the noise and smooth function? The noise function removes the green curve and makes a new smoothy green curve by removing the jittery frames from the raw animation red curve and apply it to the green curve. It's the final animation. So any editing you did on the selected controller and then you go to change the noise value, it you will lose all the editing animation you did before and you will get a new animation same as the raw data but is more smooth. So we recommended using the noise slider first thing after you loaded your video and forget about it, at least if you know what you do. But the smooth function in this case is different. You can remove the jittery without losing the keyframes you did before. Use the smooth function at any time during your work to make a smooth transition between the clips or the keyframes you did. That's only the difference between the noise and smooth functions. Zero fix function is only works if key clip is active or key frame is active and select the controllers you want to apply the zero fix on it and increase the slider. You see the white line has the same value as the zero fix slider. This value is the new zero point for the selected controllers. For example, 
I will select only the jaw and I will create a new clip from this frame to this frame. And let me put three here to let the jaw open some and put different values in some frames. And now I want the jaw closed when the value is three. So I will activate the key clip and I still select the jaw controller. Increase the zero fix slider to three. You see the jaw now is kept closed if the value of the controller is three or less. What happened is the zero value of the controller is changed to the zero fix value. You can apply the zero fix on only one frame if you activate the keyframe button. And you can select multiple controllers to apply the zero fix on them either. The last thing I want to tell you about it, to record the mouse movement. Simply active keyframe button. Set the first frame and end frame for the time range to define the area you want to record on it. And press play. Now select any controllers and move them. Any moving will be recorded. You can press undo. And record again if you want. I would appreciate hearing from you if there are any questions. And feel free to suggest a new function if you have one. Thank you for watching.